Hi everyone, this is Dan at SP Motorsport. On this week's product spotlight, we're gonna go over the 2020 plus 6.7 Power Stroke Disaster Prevention Kit that we have. It includes our exo filter that we do in our disaster prevention kits that we already have for the earlier model trucks. But there are a few changes with this system compared to the earlier model trucks, which we'll go into later in this video. We kinda wanna show you what you get in the kit. Obviously, exo filter, the manifold or the M prop adapter, the hose, the adapter that we have for the new style fuel manifold, all your bolts and hardware. And we can kind of show you on the table here what some of this stuff looks like and what its purpose is. So, starting it with the CP4, essentially what you need to do with a disaster prevention kit to make it work is on the pump, you can kind of see on the back. This is your arrow for the fuel that's going in. When the fuel goes in to the pump, it pressurizes the crankcase first, comes up out of the crankcase, then feeds the high pressure heads to then go out to the injectors through these ports. The problem with this is whenever the pump has a failure, it churns up all that stuff in the, in the base of the pump being you know material, metal, chrome, whatever. And what happens is that it pumps that up into the head the head compresses it and pushes it out to your injectors. So what we want to eliminate here is having to essentially replace the injectors if there is a pump failure. So the way that we get around that and the way that disaster prevention kit works is instead of feeding these heads from the case of the pump, we end up feeding the heads from an auxiliary fuel line. So the way that we achieve that is with this block that goes in for the metering valve that essentially lifts the metering valve up out of the pump and we're able to then auxiliary feed the metering valve with clean fresh fuel and block off the feeds from the crankcase. So the crankcase still gets the same exact fuel feed that it gets on the stock system through that hard line. So this is still getting internally lubricated and fed as it always would, but we're giving the M prop or your metering valve that feeds the heads a new fresh clean circuit that is not going to get contaminated by the base of the pump. So that's the main principle behind making this system work and be a disaster prevention kit. It is a prevention kit. Obviously there's all kinds of different types of failures. So there are other things that can happen, but that is the main thing. That's what helps. The other issue that we run into and that sets our kits apart is since you're obviously still pressurizing the crankcase, you'll see that you have a in for fuel and an out for fuel. So what happens is, even though you're feeding the heads of the pump with fresh fuel that's filtered, and you're not gonna be able to contaminate it with the, the crap coming out of the base of the pump, the problem is this can still go bad, obviously, and there's a regulator built into the base of the pump. So whenever you reach a certain base pressure, this regulator opens and it's still returning fuel. So all that fuel that's being returned still from the base of the crankcase of the pump is going to actually go back to the tank. So that's where the exo filter comes in. Our exo filter is essentially based around a 20 micron screen that's in the base of the pump. This screen will catch the debris before it exits back to the tank. So the return, the return hard line that comes out of the pump runs down along the engine. There's a quick connect fitting. You literally remove the quick connect fitting, put this on in its place, put the fitting back on, and then you have a filter that's going to essentially filter the return fuel before those particles can get back to the tank and start to fill your tank up with debris as well. So now that we kind of had an overview of what these parts look like for the 2020 kit, what we're gonna do is go on the truck and kind of explain why we had to do this kit differently and show you you know, what sets this apart from the other kit that we already have on the market. All right, so now that we're under the hood of the 2020 truck, what we can do is kind of show you one of the main differences from this kit to the earlier kits. On the earlier kits, this fuel hose coming off of the fuel filter had two quick connects on both sides, or, or a quick connect on each end of it. So you could actually remove this hose. And we had a metering, or a, a distribution block rather, down here that would quick connect onto the line 
in this line's place. The thing is on the 2020, as you can see, there's no quick connect on that line down there. So it wasn't a place that we could essentially make a plug and play style kit without having to have you cut on the truck, which our whole point behind doing these kits is to make them plug and play, quick, simple install for the customer. So we didn't want to mess with this line coming off the fuel filter. So what we decided to do was to develop a different manifold block for the fuel to tap in. And the cool thing that we did is we lifted the fuel pressure sensor, fuel pressure temperature and pressure sensor, and essentially made a junction block that went below it and tapped the line in that runs down to the metering valve block into that. So essentially what it is, is it is an O-ringed high flow stainless steel banjo bolt. And what that allows to happen is it can seal and swivel. And the internal dimension of the banjo bolt and what this flows for fuel is the same internal dimension of the dash six hose that feeds the pump. So the hard line that runs down to the pump in factory form is also the same in, uh, around the same internal dimension as this. So we're able to keep all the same fuel volume so you won't have any rail pressure issues or anything like that. And that's essentially what it looks like on the truck. This metering block is obviously down there on the pump set up as so. And the nice thing is going about it this way, you do not have to worry about cutting anything. It's a plug and play, simple design. It screws right in and it allows you to protect the truck and protect the pump and hopefully if there is a failure, you will not have any issues with the injectors. And you can also see here the exo filter, which this setup is very similar to the earlier kits, goes right here, right on the line. This, the factory return hose doesn't have to change. So we don't have to give you any extra brackets or filter assemblies or anything else to clutter up under the hood. It's a very simple block that slides right on and everything can be reversed, very simple. So it is a quick connect style fitting on the base that's bolted in so you don't have to worry about any plastic tabs breaking or anything coming off. It's nice and secure and it's able to swivel and it's all O-ringed. And the nice thing is what you can do is on every time that you change your fuel filters or you're maintenancing the truck, you're able to either pull the base of this and take the assembly off and look at it, or you can pull the three bolts on the top, pop this off, and the screen's right below it, and if you can flip it over, clean it out over a rag, or physically look at it and make sure that there's no metal material stuck in the screen. All right, now that we went over everything under the hood on the 2020 truck and kind of showed you guys some differences, we're going to show you up close on the exo filter kind of what it looks like inside and how easy it is to access. So essentially you, can, you remove the three top bolts, just run them out like that. And the nice thing is, is if you have it obviously on the truck, you can leave the quick connect line attached to it, which helps hold everything. And then you just lift it off. The screen, obviously you're going to want to look at the bottom side of it. The material will actually wedge itself in the screen. So you'll be able to see it on the base. It's a 20 micron screen. It's relatively small because we wanted to keep everything compact and simple for the truck. And this filter is not a wear item. These filters are not designed to be a wear item. They're designed to be a fail safe in case something does happen. So in other words, you shouldn't have to maintenance this filter on your truck. This is a fail safe. It's something for if the disaster prevention kit has to be used and that the crankcase does go out on the pump and it starts returning material, the filter's there to catch it. So it is a great thing to use to check the health of your truck, not so much a maintenance item, but if you do need to purchase more of them, we do sell them and they're 100% washable because it is a stainless steel screen. There is an O-ring on the top as well. So everything on this kit is pretty much an O-ring seal except for the hoses and the fittings for the manifold to the M-prop adapter. 
This is a Dash 6 for goal, around, for goal Align, made in the USA. It's a great quality hose. It's aviation style hose and fittings. They are JIC AN-6 hose ends, and then obviously a Dash 6 hose. Compression fittings, they're stainless steel braided hose with a PVC liner on the outside and a PTFE liner on the inside. All right guys, so that sums it up for this week's product spotlight on the 2020 plus 6.7 Power Stroke Disaster Prevention Kit from SPE. This product is available on the website, so feel free to go on there. If you have any questions, you can email us or call us. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.